heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. That's Psalm 101 in its entirety. May that a blessing to you. Amen. 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 Whatever, please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Let us pray. Most Heavenly Father, once again this morning we come before you asking for your blessings. Bless us, O Lord. But first, Father, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for being the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Thank you for being the Alpha and the Omega. Just thank you for being God Almighty. Thank you, Father, for waking this morning, allowing us to see another day, a one we've never seen before. Thank you for watching over us throughout the night while we slept and slumbered. Thank you for protecting us from dangers seen and unseen throughout this past week. Thank you for giving us safe passage to your house this morning. I ask now, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that you forgive us of our sins, trespasses, misdeeds, and shortcomings. Remove us from all unrighteousness. I ask you, bless and keep our pastor and his family with good health and safety. Let him continue to follow you as he leads us. Bless and keep the brothers and congregation of this church. Thank you for allowing us once again to come together this morning to give you praise and worship. Thank you. As you bless and keep all those who are on our prayer list. Father, you know each of their needs, Father. Please provide. Bless and keep our friends, neighbors, and their families. Thank you for everything you do for them, and please continue to bless them. I ask now, Father, you bless those who are here and those who are on their way. I invite you now, Father, that your Holy Spirit come into this place. Let us feel it moving and working among us. Father, that you're looking at those locked up behind prison walls and jailhouse doors. Yes. Let them know that they too can be saved by turning all to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> Father God, I ask you to bless and keep this land. Stop all the senseless mass shootings. Every day there's another shooting of people being killed senselessly. Yes. Father God, touch them. Remove the evil from their hearts. I ask, Father, now that you allow us to continue to grow in your word and become better disciples and Christians. All these things we ask your darling son, Jesus. And, Father, thank you for everything you do for us. Please continue to bless us. We'll love, praise, and worship you forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth and good to all generations. I was glad. I rejoice. I was overwhelmed with enthusiasm. Joy has rang from the depths of my soul. When they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Let us now prepare for our reading of the church covenant. Let us read responsibly. Having been led, as we believe, by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we do now, in the presence of God, angels, and this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. secret devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagement, and exemplary in our deportment, to avoid our tackling, backbiting, and excessive anger, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. Be further engaged to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy in feeling and courtesy in speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior. All together, we moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Amen.
nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. Nor the fault I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. church, 
black liberation through theology, Christian evangelism, and virtual discipleship. The classes, the adult classes, will be held at Zion Baptist Church, 22nd and Grant, and the children and youth sessions will be at Morning Star Baptist Church, 20th and Burdett. Amen. So they are not uh, far from each other. Drop off the kids and go to the adult session. Amen. Amen. And that will be all week from 6.30 to 8.30. Night. Amen. Amen. There is a the Build Health Challenge. Amen. Uh, they're all about being healthy. Uh, be the Leader You Are Advocacy Series. One of the facilitators will be State Senator Terrell McKinney. And Nebraska Board of Education uh, member Jacqueline Morrison. This will be the second and fourth Tuesday of the month. Uh, it runs from January to June, so there's still a couple of sessions in June, 6.30 to 8 p.m. You can uh, check it out by Zoom or attend in person. And that is at the Build Health Challenge uh, location, 4318 Fort Street. Amen. And this is all in connection with Heartland Family Services. And they want to do, uh, or they're going to do, a gospel on the green. Uh, every Tuesday in the month, uh, for the months of June, July, and August. And they're looking for gospel singers and performers. Amen. That will be uh, 6.30 to 8.30 on uh, one Tuesday each, each of those months. And that will be at the Bill Health Challenge location, 4318 Fort Street. Amen. Amen. Do you or someone you know need a ride to a medical appointment? Contact us here at Generations, and we will set up transportation for you to get to and from your medical appointments using Uber and Lyft, and it's free to you. Amen. Amen. So this information will be on our bulletin board for those who copy it. Again, from uh, Greater New Hope Missionary Baptist Church, dear Pastor McCruel and congregation, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for accepting our invitation to be the worship leader for our upcoming 95th church anniversary program. Amen. And that will be Sunday, June 12th, 4 p.m. Amen. Our choir will be rendering two selections. Amen. Greater New Hope is at 1411 North 30th Street. So we will be there then. Amen. 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 It's at this time in our announcements where we recognize any first-time guests. And I don't believe we have any first-time guests this morning. Amen. We are pleased to see Reverend Nigel McPherson with us this morning. Amen. Amen. This concludes my portion of the announcements. Thanks, Ms. Carolina, for the announcements. I want to take this opportunity to say Good morning and happy birthday to all our June babies. Amen. 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 We are grateful to God for each and every one of you, and we are grateful that He has blessed us to see another day. Amen. 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 God did it again. Amen. We'll have us through another week. Amen. And we are indeed truly grateful. Yes. Amen. Yes. Certainly we want to say uh, a good morning to all of those who are viewing us online uh, through the live stream. We're grateful to God for each of you. Amen. Certainly we want to thank the, uh, thank the gatherings for cleaning the church on yesterday. Amen. Amen.
thank Brother Randy and Sister Kiana Thomas for the virtual grants that we were able to cut on yesterday. So the uh, all the activities at St. John will be canceled this next week in order that we might support the new era of Congress. Amen. All the new activities are canceled. And uh, so the, uh, all the members of St. John should be uh, registered by now in a course in order that you can take advantage of the Christian education that is being offered this week coming up. Amen. Amen. And, and certainly uh, uh, you can go either in person or you can uh, do it via Zoom. Uh, that's how the classes will be virtual. And in person there will be hybrid classes. So uh, really no one has any excuse because uh, you can actually take class while well, you can take class in your pajamas if, if you're at home. Uh, because of the fact you have to have your audio on so that uh, the instructors can see that you are actually there and participating. It won't be where you can register and, and, and cut, your, uh, cut your video off uh, where you cannot be seen because uh, there will be monitors who will be monitoring to see if those who are doing via Zoom are actually participating and who are actually there or if you uh, just uh, log in and then take off and do something else for two hours. <laughs> Amen. That's the reason why your video will need to be on while you are uh, doing the class via Zoom. Just thought I'd give you a word of warning and advance notice. Amen, amen, so, so, so dress for class, amen, whether you're going or whether you're doing it via at home. So we want to encourage us uh, to be here for Sunday school on the next Sunday at 9 o'clock, a good time to come together and study God's word, amen. And we are scheduled to have uh, to celebrate St. John's 99th church anniversary on the third Sunday in next month on July the 17th. And we're glad of the thunderous applause because we want you to thunderously also give $100 for the church anniversary on next week. So we should have the same government's applause for the $100 for the church and the church. Amen. 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 Because we know that uh, those funds go toward uh, the much needed work that needs to be done here at St. John and at the Parsonage. Amen. 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 So we want to remind us whenever we are in public, please wear your mask and maintain personal space distancing because uh, COVID may be down but it has not disappeared. Okay. Amen. And people are yet coming down with COVID and there's still reporting about people in the hospital with COVID and uh, certainly we want uh, all the St. John to do all you can to protect yourself yes. and to protect your loved ones and your family and those around you. Amen. And certainly we want to do all that we can. Uh, in that effort. Yeah. As a reminder, our vision statement is to become the hands, the feet and voice of Jesus Christ impacting humanity for eternity. Yeah. Our mission statement is to exalt the Savior, equip the saints, and evangelize sinners by sharing the love of Jesus Christ through service. Our motto is we are lighthouse, shining, seeking, and sharing Jesus Christ, the light of the world. So in line with our vision statement, our mission statement, and our motto, how many of us say in church and believers that you invite and accept Jesus Christ this last week? 
Uh, we profess to be saved, and since we are saved, we will be given the great commission by Jesus Christ, which is to go into all the world and make disciples. The first step in disciple making is one must be saved, so therefore they have to be evangelized. And we have been saved to do so. And one of these days, and it won't be very long, we will have to give an account of our stewardship. But we will have to stand before the righteous judge. And I want you to say, well done, well, thou good and faithful servant. Be faithful over a few things. Come on, honey, I'll make you rule over many. And one of those things we need to be faithful over is being faithful over evangelizing. How many of us say you don't choose to be the truth right to come to St. John this week? I certainly will have a very good room. And so we have been coming, uh, we know that the Lord will bless them for coming to his house because he has promised to meet us in his house. Amen. Let us now be prepared to be blessed by a musical selection by the most magnificent music ministry, this side of heaven, the St. John Missionary Baptist Church Music Ministry, located at 3912 North 16th Street. Omaha, Nebraska, 68110. Let us pray with them and pray for them as they come to us with this next musical selection.
man. I'll make it home someday. And I'm certainly looking forward to a home going. Amen. unto the throne of grace. We're certainly mindful of all those who are on the prayer list on today. And as we know, the prayer list is incomplete because all of our names are not listed there. So the Bible says that men are always pray. It says that if we pray, we will faint along the way. I discovered that life's journey has a way of wearing and tearing at the very soul. And we need to pray in order that the Lord might give us strength for the journey. Let us go now to God in prayer. All wise eternal God and Father, we can only bow before your presence with thanksgiving. We can thank you that you are our God and our Father. And you saw fit to make us in the image after your likeness. We thank you for Jesus the Christ, your only begotten Son, who humbled himself even to the death of Calvary's rugged cross, in order that we might walk with you and have a right relationship with you and be in fellowship with you. And it is in his name, it is in Jesus' name, that we boldly approach your throne. We thank for your Holy Spirit, the one who keeps us sealed into the day of redemption. He leads us, guides us, and directs us in the way that you would have us to go. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. How you continue to keep showering your loving blessings upon us. We acknowledge our unworthiness, O oh Lord, but we're grateful that you Look beyond our faults and our failures and bless us according to our needs. We are grateful that you stayed up all night last night, kept a watchful eye upon us, kept us alive all through the night. And early this morning, you touched us with your finger of love and awakened us to see a brand new day, a day we've never seen before, and a day we'll never see again. We're grateful that you clothed us in our right mind and gave us the mind and ability to come to your house of prayer where we might worship you in spirit and in truth. Now, Father, we pray and ask you to help us to lay aside all of those hindrances that would keep us from giving you the glory, praise, honor, and worship that is due your name. Because your name is worthy to be praised. And we praise you on today. We praise you because of who you are. We praise you and worship because of what you do. And we praise and worship you because of what you have done. We're grateful that you're God all by yourself and that no one has any influence over you being God. We're grateful that you rule and super rule the universe. That you're still seated on the throne and you sit down but you look low. And we're grateful that you keep your watchful eye upon us. We're grateful, O oh God, that nothing can happen to us unless you say so. So as we go through and we face the challenges of life, we know, O oh God, that they are uh, allowed to come our way because you see how they can strengthen us and how they can cause us to grow closer to you and how we can become more spiritually mature. Now, Father, we as a special blessing upon those who are listed on the prayer list. And those there who are sick and shut in. And we know, oh God, that you are able to heal. For you are the great physician. So we pray and ask, oh God, that you would touch and bless the sick and shut in. 
according to your will and your purpose. And after you bless them, O Lord, that they would have a testimony of how good that you are. Then, Father, for those who are, who are bereaved now today, those whose hearts are heavy because of loved ones who have been uh, taken out of this world, we do an act so God that you will catch confidence and soul, turn their tears of sorrow into tears of joy, and let them know that they who die in the Lord shall live again. Then, Father, for those who are locked behind prison walls and jailhouse doors, we pray the next that you will allow your spirit to touch them and let them know that if they just turn it over to you, that you are able to turn it around and cause all things to work together for good. For those who love you and are the calling according to your will and your purpose. Now, Father, we pray for the situation over in Ukraine. We pray and ask, O oh Lord, that you would intervene in the situation that's going on over in Ukraine, that you would touch the heart of, of President Putin and give him a change of heart, change of spirit, and a change of mind. That he would seek to do that which is pleasing and acceptable in your sight, instead of seeking to do that which pleases him. For we know, O God, that man cannot do what's right by himself. But we need your kindness and direction in order to make the right decision. And we need your Holy Spirit to lead and guide and direct him. So we pray and ask, O God, that you would allow your spirit to touch President Putin, that he might make a turnabout in his life and see the need for Jesus Christ to be his savior and for him to follow Jesus' teaching. Now, Father, we the blessing upon President Biden and his cabinet and those who are in the House of Representatives and those who are in the Senate as they make uh, national decisions that affect your people, that they, O oh God, will seek your guidance and direction and will be moved by your Holy Spirit to do that which is pleasing and acceptable from your sight and that which is beneficial for your people. Then, Father, we ask your blessing upon those who are in governor's managers and mayor's office, uh, that they will seek your guidance and direction because they too must give an account of their stewardship, the deeds they do in their bodies. And we hope and pray, oh God, that they will seek to do that, which is pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Now, Father, we ask you to continue to bless them upon this worship experience this day. Continue to bless the music ministry that the songs of Zion will go for. Be a sweet smell and savor unto you, and that it will touch and minister to all the hearers. Then, Father, it's God and the first and prepares to come before us and bring unto us the bread of life. We pray and ask, O oh Lord, that you are dipping down deep into your rich treasures, one high, giving the power and authority that he needs, that he might boldly proclaim an uncompromising gospel, that your word will take deep root in our hearts, that it may be in the presence of your man, Jesus Christ, and the part of their sins, that the convicting power of your word would go their way, cause them to make that turn about in their lives and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. Then, Father, for those of us who already know you, we pray that as a result of this worship experience this day, we'll be better servants for you going out than we were when we came in. Now, Father, we ask a special blessing upon the St. John Missionary Baptist Church family. You know our individual needs and you know our collective needs. Bless us, O oh God, that we might be the brothers and sisters of Christ Jesus, that you call out of the world of darkness into the marvelous light to be. Now, Father, in life as we know that you'll come to an end, young books and Bibles will be closed down here no more. Preaching days will be over and praying days will come to an end. And we will have to study more down here no more. We pray and ask that you meet us in that day and in that hour. And we will be able to hear the welcome and voice and serve of God well done. Help us to be mindful of the fact, O oh Lord, that the only way we will hear you say well done is if we will have done well. So help us, O oh God, 
to give you our best each and every day of our lives in order that it might be acceptable unto you. These are all our blessings we ask. In the name of our living, in the name of our loving, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, let the saints of God say together, Amen. 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 And amen. amen. It's giving time now. Amen. 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 Let us prepare to read the ministry of giving together in unison, please. And it reads, But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he proposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you. And ye always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed the brother, he has given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. Now he that ministers seed to the soul, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness, being enriched in every gain to all confidence, which causes through us thanksgiving to God. For the administration of this service not only supplied the wants of the saints, but all the burning also by many thanksgivings unto God. Whilst by the experiment of this administration, they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ, and for your liberal distribution unto them, and unto all men, and by their prayer for you, which long after you, for the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Amen. Amen. If you do not have opportunity to place your tithes and offerings in the tithing box and you enter the sanctuary, we ask that you please take the opportunity to do so as you exit the sanctuary. Amen. So we would thank uh, those who are present with us and those who are online who support the ministry. Uh, we thank you for your tithes and offerings Amen. and the gifts to the building fund in support of the ministry. I want to thank those who are giving through Giverify, who are mailing your tithes and offerings in, and who are sending your tithes and offerings in. Amen. We know God is blessing you uh, for your willingness to support this ministry. Amen. 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 I'd like to take this opportunity now to introduce to someone to present to others the preacher for this morning. He is none other than the Reverend Dr. Nigel Livingston McPherson Sr. Amen. 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 He is the pastor emeritus of the Pilgrim Baptist Church. And we are certainly that uh, most of us, if not all of us, know him and know of his work. And certainly, uh, let me share with you some of his work that you may not, that I'm sure you don't know about. Uh, Dr. McPherson is one of my mentors. Amen. Uh, one of my instructors uh, when we had the uh, Extension School of American Baptist Theological Seminary, when an extension was at Pilgrim Baptist Church. Uh, he was one of my instructors 
as he was also the dean of the school. So much of my uh, learning, I learned at the feet of Dr. McPherson. Amen. Amen. And we are grateful and honored to have him with us on this morning. Amen. And we ask that you would bring with him and pray for him as he comes to us after this next selection from the most magnificent music ministry this side of heaven. We ask that you would pray with them and pray for them. And the next speaking voice you hear after them will be none other than Dr. McPherson. Amen. He'll be him.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is wonderful to know that because of the blood of Christ, we are washed and redeemed. Yes. Amen. And if there is someone here today who has not been so washed and redeemed before the day is over, it would be advisable for you to make that most important decision to commit your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. So that you can join the chorus and say, washed and redeemed Amen. by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. It is good to be with you again at the St. John Baptist Church. Amen. Your pastor is one of my favorite ministers. Amen. And he has become so because not only has he been washed and redeemed, but he lives the life of a redeemed person. Amen. Amen. And you, as a congregation, would do well to pray for him Amen. and to follow him and to do the thing that he directs because he is a man of God who has been washed and redeemed. May God bless all of you and keep you and whatever this summer brings to you may be a blessing. Amen. 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 I am thankful to Pastor McCurran for giving to me this opportunity to stand up and to speak in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Join me in prayer as I pray. Dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive us of the sins we have committed. Cleanse our hearts. Renew in us a spirit of earning, yearning, that we may seek to follow your command and to do your will. To love one another and to care for each other and to let our light shine so that those who are in darkness may have the opportunity to see a glimmer of light and find their way to you to commit themselves. Now let the word of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable unto thee, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Thank Pastor McCoy for this opportunity, and 
I want to thank each of you for being here. And I trust that your being here today will not be disappointed because you didn't hear your pastor preach. <laughs> So I'd like to invite your prayerful attention to the book of Romans. Yes. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And it reads, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Yes. To them who are the called according to his purpose. Amen. 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 And for another subject, just a simple statement how God works. How does God work? First of all, the human mind is too small to fully comprehend all the ways God leads and deals with his people. Amen. Amen. Our mind is too small to comprehend. Yes, sir. One writer says, God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and he rides upon the storm. Judge not the Lord by feeble sense, nor trust him but trust him for his grace. Yes. Behind a frowning providence, mm -hmm. he hides a smiling face. Yes, sir. Job will tell you that God's ways are past finding out. Yes, sir. That's right. Doesn't matter how you try, doesn't matter how long you tried, you are still seeking. Mm -hmm. Because God's way is beyond human reach and human understanding. And little by little, he revealed some of his ways to us yes, sir. in order to help us to walk. Faithfully. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. How God works. How does He work? We don't always know what's next. That's right. But we do know that God specializes in accomplishing things that seem impossible to men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And one writer says, if you trust and never doubt, mm -hmm. he, God, yes. will surely bring you up. Yes, sir. This text causes us to face some problem and poses some question. All right. How God works. Does everything happen for the best? Well, for instance, your power goes out and you lost everything in your freezer and refrigerator. Your house got cold. You are chilled to your very bones. Does good come out of this, out of that? Yes, for you are still alive. <laughs> this text causes us to face some problems 
and poses some question. Mm -hmm. And again we ask, does everything happen for the best? Well. <clears throat> for instance, it is since it is summertime now we, we talk about winter and then going out and all that it doesn't add up but the thing is this that we understand that the ways of God are beyond finding out yes sir the more he is revealed to us the more of him we want to know. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 that's right. And that's, that's everything, think about it. In your life experience and your day-to-day -day in activity. Does everything happen for the best? Well. This is one of the questions we have to put on hold. <laughs> And God will reveal to us in time All right. All right. the answer to this question because what seemed to be the best for one person is tragedy for another. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And so if we are able to get up in the morning and to recognize our loved ones and our surroundings, that's a blessing. Amen. 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 Because there are people who, if you brought them in this building, they wouldn't know where they are. Well, There are people walking right now in the streets. They don't know who they are. They don't know where they are. Yeah. But thank God, we are assembled in God's house. Yes, sir. And we recognize the presence of God in our midst. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Does everything work for the best? Well, there are some questions we have to leave to get answer later. Mm -hmm. And this is one of them. Because of the fact that when we experience difficulties or tragedy in our lives. Mm -hmm. We have the tendency of going to complain and say, God is not fair. That's right. Because he allow us to be going through what we're going through. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But someone said, trust not the Lord by feeble sense, but trust him for his grace. Yes, Behind a frowning providence, mm -hmm. he hides a smiling face. Yes, sir. And, and, and if God smiles on us and our activity and what we are doing, then we don't have to worry. Amen. Amen. We do not have to worry. We look at some illustrations of this truth. Abraham started to be very successful in his homeland, Ur of the Chaldees. Yes, sir. In the midst of his settling in and readying and expanding and making greater investment, mm -hmm. God came to him and said to Abraham, Abraham, mm -hmm. leave this place. Right. Yes, sir. Move out. Mm -hmm. Now what would 
you do if you were in such a position? Some of us would curse. Some of us would cry. Some of us would whine and say, God is not fair. But one of the things we must understand in this life, God is fair. Yes. Even though the situation may not go according as you thought they should go. Or you wish it should go, or even if it went against you, God is fair. God is just. Not make a mistake. Abraham started out to be very successful in his own land, Ur of the Chaldees. In the midst of his settling in and ready to expand and make greater investment. God appeared to him and said, Abraham, I'll make you a great nation. I will bless you. I'll make your name great. And you shall be a blessing and be the father of many nations. But before these things can happen, you will have to leave your country. Now some of us would be mad at God. Some of us would be pleased. And some of us would feel blessed. But God said to him, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred right. and from your father's house yeah. to a land that I will show you. That's right. Abraham trusted God yeah. and obeyed mm -hmm. and God continued to bless him. Joseph, the youngest son of Jacob, mm -hmm. was cruelly mistreated by his own brothers. That's right. His father Jacob had sent him with food for his older brothers and to see how they were doing out in the field yes, taking care of the animal. As soon as they spied him from a distance, they knew him because he had a special coat. That's right. And instead of these brothers be glad to see their youngest brother coming to see them. You know what they said? They said, Behold the dreamer coming. That's right. Come, let us kill him mm -hmm. and cast him in some pit. And we will say to our father, Some evil beasts discover, dis devour him. Years later, he was falsely accused for a crime that he did not commit. That's right. That's right. But the Lord was with Joseph mm -hmm. and showed him mercy right. and gave him favor in the sight of the prison keeper. That's right. Sometime later, 
it was revealed to him why this catastrophe had befallen him. In Genesis chapter 50 verse 20, he said to his brothers, You thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good. To save much people alive. God was at work for good. Not only for Joseph, but for his people. We it doesn't matter how long you live, it doesn't matter how much you pray, you will never be able to exhaust a full understanding of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because he, re- he reveals to us day by day new things, new experiences, new heights. Yes, and all we must do is to humble ourselves, wait on Him, and do what He wants us to do. Moses, although he was a prince in the empire of Egypt, Mm -hmm. he was sympathetic to the oppressed Israelite. Yes, sir. It cost him 40 years of banishment. Yes, sir. For 40 years he was in training to become the deliverer of God's people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No wonder someone said God moved in mysterious ways his wonders to perform. Yes, sir. He plants his footsteps in the sea and he rides upon the storm. Yes, Fear, ye fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds you so much dread are big with mercy and will break with blessing upon you. Yes, sir. What we must do, we must honor God. Yes, sir. And we must obey God. Oh, I want to tell you now, obeying God is not going to be the easiest thing you do in your life. You're going to have some great challenges (laughs) and folk are going to call your names and they're going to do some things to you that you don't think church folk or Christian folk would do. Yes, but be not dismayed all right, all right, all right. if God be for you. Yes. No one, right. no power yes, can do you any harm right. if God is for you. That's right. Amen. The evangelist Philip and had a very successful evangelistic campaign in Samaria. Mm -hmm. And the Lord appeared to him and said, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that go down from Jerusalem to Gaza, Mm -hmm. which is desert. The average one of us would complain and say, No, Lord, why am I leaving my comfortable home? Why am I I'm going out into a desert? Right, right, yes, sir. But you see, God's ways and God's plan is not always no, recognizable. Sometimes you have to take a step of faith and believing that the Lord will help you to find a solid place for your footstep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because as Philip had a very successful 
evangelistic campaign in Samaria, the Lord appeared to him and said, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that go down from Jerusalem to Gaza, yes, sir. which is desert. Mm -hmm. Some of us would have convulsion. <laughs> we, would, we would be so mad mm -hmm. that God is moving us out of our comfortable zone yeah. and sending us into a desert place. Mm -hmm. But God's ways are always best. Yes, sir. Because he knows the way mm -hmm. you go. Yes. And he knows what mm -hmm. is there to be done and that you can do it. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. And he wants us to be obedient uh -huh. to his command. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. And Philip went out and he came up across an individual mm -hmm. and this individual was reading the scripture mm -hmm. yes, sir. and he said to him do you understand what you're reading right mm -hmm. and he said how can i mm -hmm. accept someone teach me yes sir and so the Holy Spirit told Philip to join this man, and this man received the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. Yes, sir. Amen. And he was able to take the story of salvation back to his people. Mm -hmm. So don't be frustrated when God gives you direction. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because he knows the way. Yes, and he knows what he is doing yes. mm -hmm. and he knows that you can do it if you obey yes, sir. as the writer said trust and obey for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus mm -hmm. but to trust and obey yes sir Yes, and so this Ethiopian eunuch received the Lord Jesus Christ and went happily on his way mm -hmm. and the people of Ethiopia was made to feel good yes, because it took to them the story of salvation. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you work, what your interaction is, but sometimes the Lord is guiding us to do certain things and to be with certain people for a cause. Because that one Ethiopian man, after he received the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Savior, he went back home and he spread the story and all, almost all the Ethiopians received the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't underestimate your weakness. Yes, sir. You may think it is simple and nobody will hear you, but it's not so. God specializes in things that seem impossible. And he can do what no other power can do. Yes, sir. One day, a young Pharisee stood by while a faithful follower of Jesus Christ was being stoned mm -hmm. to death. This was the turning point for that young Pharisee whose name was Saul of Tarsus. Mm -hmm. 
and the Lord equipped him to become Paul the evangelist and suffered greatly for the cause of Christ. God was at work for good, not only for Paul, but for his people. If God wants you to do something and you don't think you're able to do it, do it anyhow. Right. Because he will show you how. He is able, he is willing, he is ready. Are you? The text, this text not only causes us to face some problems, but it contains great promise. It speaks of a divine purpose. It reminds us that God is at work in the world today. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. God has a wonderful plan for the life of each of us. Mm -hmm. Romans 8, 31 and 32 mm -hmm. Salvation from the penalty of sin. Mm -hmm. Salvation from the power and practice of sin. Mm -hmm. Salvation from the presence and practice of sin ultimately will go away when we acknowledge the presence of God in our lives. Yes, sir. Because you may say, well, let the pastor do it, or let the deacon do it, or let so-and-so do it. But God may want you to do it. That's right. And if God wants you to do something, he will equip you. Yes, yes sir. And he will make you ready. Mm -hmm. And he will cause you to do great work mm -hmm. in his kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But first of all, mm -hmm. you must be obedient mm -hmm. to his call. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It is the will of God that we be fruitful and productive. And John chapter 15 verse 2 we read, Every branch in Christ the true vine that does not produce fruit, he cut them off and cast them in the fire. That's right. But those who abide in Christ, the true vine, and bear fruit, mm -hmm. he nourishes them so that they will bring forth more fruit. Yes, we must understand that there are times when we cannot understand the experience that befall us. But with faith in God, yes. we should move forward in the confidence that God will be at work to bring out good in everything that happened to us. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. It may appear at times that God is working too slowly. And sometimes it may even seem that he does not care. Well, but we can be certain that God is at work in terms of his love and power. 
All that is in the past mm -hmm. is preparatory well, for the present mm -hmm. and the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The future is in the hand and heart of God. Yes, yes, yes. No one thing can happen to us without the permission of the great God who does not sleep nor slumber. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes, right. yes. And who never makes a mistake. Yes, right. Sometimes you don't understand why is this happening to me? Why is it this happening to me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Be still and know that God sees you. Yes, and God is working with you. Yes, and God wants you to put your trust in Him. Yes, don't lean on your own understanding. Right. Don't lean on your own experience. In all your ways, yes. the Bible says, trust Him, mm -hmm. and He will surely bring you up. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Through it all, I have many tears and sorrow. Mm -hmm. I have had questions for tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There have been times I didn't know right no. from wrong. Yeah. Well, yeah. But in every situation, mm -hmm. God gave blessed consolation yeah. Yeah. that my trials come to only make me strong. Mm. Yeah. Through it all, mm -hmm. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Yes, I've learned to trust in God. Uh -huh. yes, See, as a child of God, you will face some difficult, unexplainable situation in your life that you wonder, what is happening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But don't panic. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Take it to the Lord yeah. in prayer yeah. and ask him to show you what he wants yes. Yes. you to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One writer said, through it all, mm -hmm. I have learned to trust in Jesus. Yes, I have learned to trust in God mm -hmm. through it all. Yes, through it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. Yes, sir. Friends, I'm sure if each person here was to be asked, you have had people who have deceived you somewhere, somewhere along the line. And yes, you and you may have even deceived somebody <coughs> somewhere along. Yes, but don't let that stop you from seeking the Lord yes, yes. and leaning on his everlasting arm yes, 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 yes. and trusting him yes, because he is God and he will not fail and he cannot fail yeah, because right, he's right. the everlasting God yeah. who moves the muscle of every individual. Yes, 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 yes he does. All right, all right. I've been to lots of places and I've seen a lot of faces. Mm -hmm. There have been times I felt so all alone. Yes, sir. But in my lonely hour. Mm -hmm. Yes, those lonely, precious lonely <coughs> hours. Mm -hmm. Jesus let me know mm -hmm. that I am his own. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I thank God 
for the mountains. Mm -hmm. I thank him for the valleys. Mm -hmm. I thank him for the storms he brought me to. Mm -hmm. For if I've never had a problem, mm -hmm. I would know that he could solve it. Mm -hmm. I'd never know what faith in God could do. Mm -hmm. Through it all, mm -hmm. through it all, mm -hmm. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I've learned to trust in God. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Through all the storms and the violent waves that come up against us, mm -hmm. if we trust and never doubt, yes, yes. Sir. He will surely bring us out. Yes, yes. All right, all right. All we have to do uh -huh. is to trust Him yes. and yes, never doubt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because our God <coughs> is an everlasting God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Through it all, mm -hmm. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've learned to trust in God. Mm -hmm. yes. Through it all. Yeah. Through it all. Yeah. I've learned to depend upon His word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you too. It doesn't matter what's happening in your life. It doesn't matter what has happened in your life. Don't give up on God. No, no, no sir. Don't think that you have reached the end and there is no hope. There is always hope yes, if sir. you have breath in your body yes, to sir. breathe. And he is able to bring you to. Yes, yes, sir. yes, yes, sir. yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir. It does not matter what you are facing mm -hmm. and the problem you are happy mm -hmm. through it all. Yeah. You have a God, if you have committed your life to him, mm -hmm. you have a God who not only sees mm -hmm. and knows, mm -hmm. but he knows how to bring you to what you are going to. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. And he is able because he has never failed yes, any of his people. All right, all right, all right. Yes, and he will not fail. All you have to do is to put your trust in him yes, and believe that he is able. Yes, because we serve an able God. Yes, we serve a willing God. We serve a God who looks and sees what you are going through yes. and he knows how to get you through it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Through it all. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Mm -hmm. I've learned to trust in God. Yes, yes sir. And friends, don't take it lightly. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. No, sir. The God we serve yes. mm -hmm. is the ruler and owner of the universe. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And he knows what you are going through and he knows how he's going to get you through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, but you have to lean on his everlasting arm. Yes, and you have to trust him yes, yes, and yes. never doubt. Yes, sir. And he, my God, yes, sir. will surely bring you out. Yes, sir. Amen. God bless you. Yes, sir. and be gracious unto you. Amen.
explain their limitations to the discipleship. There may be one here that knows not Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins. So this is your invitation to come receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Christ died so that you wouldn't have to die. But he died in order that you might have life in all of its abundance. That you might have life eternal. He died on Calvary's road to cross. Was buried in a borrowed tomb in Irving on the third day morning. God raised him from the grave to demonstrate that his death on the cross was payment for the sins of the world. So if you're here today and you don't know Jesus, this is a good day to get to know him. As your Lord and personal Savior, we invite you to come. If there's one today, if there's one today, we invite you to come. Secondly, you may be here and know Jesus Christ, your Lord and personal Savior, but you don't have a church home. So we invite you to come by letter, demonstrating your Christian experience of see St. John Missionary Baptist Church as your church home. Certainly, if you choose not to be a part of the St. John family, we will refer you to any other Baptist church in the city. Is there one today? Thirdly, you may be here, been a member of St. John, been gone for a period of time without a just cause. If so, we invite you to come, renew your relationship, renew your fellowship, renew your discipleship and your membership with the St. John Missionary Baptist Church. If you fall into any one of those three categories, we invite you to come. This is your invitation today. Is there one? Is there one today? God bless you. You may be seated. So we thank Dr. McPherson for blessing us with that word from the Lord. So you're challenging us in any way. You're challenging us to trust in God. Yes. Because we know that God causes all things to work together for good. Yes, sir. For those who love him and walk the call according to his will and his purpose. Yes. He does not say that all things are good, but he says that God will cause them to work together for good. Amen. Amen. Again, we thank Dr. McPherson for blessing us with that word from the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 As we prepare now for the Lord's Supper, mm -hmm. uh, certainly if you are here, and if you have not uh, accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior and been baptized, we ask that you not participate in the Lord's Supper. Amen. saving power in this but we do this out of obedience but Jesus you told us in your word that we should do this we show forth your death suffering on Calvary's rugged cross until you come again we're grateful for the sacrifice on Calvary's rugged cross which is the payment for our sins and Father we pray and ask that you would search each of us make us worthy to any end your word tells us that if any eat and drink unworthily, they eat and drink damnation to their soul. And Father, we know that we can't make ourselves worthy. Only you can. So we pray and ask, O oh Lord, that you would do this for us as we commemorate and remember what Christ has done for us on Calvary's rugged cross. 
In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Dr. Dr. McPherson on your way out. Amen.